a gala ball in Auckland to mark the Chinese New Year, organized by the Rotary Club of Auckland Harborside, whose members are mainly of Asian descent. There are many dignitaries here, among them the Governor General Se Anand Satyanan and his wife Lady Suzanne. While today's event at the Sky City Auckland Convention Centre is mainly to welcome the Year of the Rabbit, there's even a bigger reason behind the celebration. Twice at 2100. This year, all the money raised will go towards the Breast Cancer Research Trust. Project leader of tonight's event, Rotarian Donald Suhoi, is pleased with the response and he hopes the event will also create awareness about cancer. What we're doing tonight is a truly worthy course. In fact, I was so taken by that so many people who, are, who do not know enough about cancer. And with what better than the Chinese New Year to start off? Um, a case of you know, Rotary being there to try to help the community. And Donald's daughter, Angela Suhoi, is the reason why he is so passionate about breast cancer. Angela, who is deaf, was diagnosed with breast cancer a year and a half ago. It turned the Suhoi household into turmoil. It's, it's been a life-changing experience for, for me and for everybody involved. When I got cancer, I was really shocked. I didn't know what to do. I had to have a big discussion with my husband and discussion with my family. I realised I didn't know much about cancer, so it was a big learning curve. So we made some decisions. I changed the diet, my, the way I was eating, and that helped a lot. And that's what I've been through. Angela's fifth generation, and we never had such a... Uh, a case in a long history in New Zealand from my great-grandfather Charles Hoy, who settled here in 1869. That's a long time ago, I think it's 142 years ago. Amazing. But cancer to the Chinese are not, is not um, a major illness. <laughs> Unfortunately, until we settle in New Zealand, I suppose. We're very passionate with this particular fundraiser because we've been through an experience which we'd like to share with others and hope that they will learn. And as we were in such shock when we found out that Angela had cancer. Since being diagnosed with breast cancer, Angela has had to have a mastectomy, hormone treatments, and six rounds of chemotherapy. Last November, she was told by her doctor she was doing well. Well, after going through cancer, I always felt that my family was right behind me. They, they really kept me going through the, through the difficult time of having cancer. They went to, went to the doctor's appointments with me, and they made sure that I was eating, that I didn't forget to eat. They made sure that when I was working, I wasn't working too hard. They made sure I relaxed, and they helped me look after the children as well. The Suhoys, who first settled in Otago, are a close-knit family. Many now live in Auckland and work for family-owned company Glacier Investments, whose core business is manufacturing clothing in China for the warehouse chain. Despite her disability, Angela has been a high achiever. She was the first deaf person in the country to graduate with a master's degree in business administration, and now is Glacier's financial controller. Her deafness did not hold her back. I'm sure it was very difficult for her to learn. She has put back a lot into the community. Uh, she herself was the youngest uh, president of the uh, New Zealand Deaf Association. She's also successfully lobbied for sign language to become an official language of New Zealand and now wants to make more people, including the deaf community, aware about cancer. Well, in New Zealand, <clears throat> there's still groups of people, I think the public generally are aware, but there are still groups of people that aren't aware. So I've been making a DVD in New Zealand Sign Language for the deaf community because there's still a few deaf people that don't really know much about cancer, so it's making them aware early of the signs and what their treatment options are. Because if you leave it too late, cancer is a killer. Back at the gala ball, the dance band is rocking and the donations are flowing. I can't tell you how much it means to the, the researchers and the scientists that are working uh, for the trust to have this sort of support from everyone. It's not just the money, but it's the emotional and physical support. It's fantastic. 425 and 
So, thank you, sir. Yeah, when I heard what my father was doing, I was very proud that he decided to be involved in that. So I think it's wonderful. The event raised more than $40,000, with most of the proceeds going towards the Breast Cancer Research Trust.